Former Egyptian Prime Minister and former presidential candidate Ahmed Shafiq, who lost to the Egypt's current president Mohamed Morsi in elections this summer, has been referred to a court and been put on airport watch list. Shafiq stands accused with 10 other officials from the aviation ministry over alleged charges in profiteering as well as seizing of public funds during the time Shafiq was Minister of Aviation under Mubarak and served as his last Prime Minister during the last 18 days that toppled Mubarak's regime. Ahmed Shafiq was a Minister of Civil Aviation for, for 10 years almost, for a decade, where he had dealt with the sister, uh, with the brother of, uh, of Suzanne Mubarak who was uh, the wife of Hosni Mubarak on an individual basis and on the BVIs that he has established and we have presented as lawyers, as a group of lawyers, we have presented a memorandum against him. Another case against Shafiq is selling 40,000 square meter plot of land that was owned by the Cooperative Housing Association of Air Force Officers to Mubarak's sons, Ala and Gamal, at below market rates in the 1990s when he was the commander-in-chief of the Air Force. Many here believe that Shafiq was working under the stewardship of the former ruling military council to hijack the Egyptian revolution which toppled longtime dictator Hosni Mubarak and his corrupt regime. Shafiq is just another face of Mubarak and all of us know that he was supported by Jaskar. I hope that he would be manly enough to come back and face justice for all what he has done. Shafiq, however, had traveled to the United Arab Emirates following his loss in the presidential election against Morsi in June. While many believe that ex-presidential candidate Ahmed Shafiq has escaped following his loss in the presidential elections out of fear of prosecution, it remains to be seen if he will return to face the charges and continue on his political career. Karim Gamaleddin, Press TV, Cairo.